Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. This is my third video in the series on 2024 Release Wave 2. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Dynamics 365 customer service. So the first one I wanted to start with, um, actually, you probably have already seen this because this was part of the previous release wave. You'll notice in basically all over the release wave that some of these features were already announced as part of 2024 release wave one and are now being pushed to the release wave two. So I'm going to be covering some of those things, obviously, as well. So kind of like I said, what happened with this one, it was on a previous release note uh, and then it kind of disappeared and now it's on wave two, the release note. So you've probably seen a little bit about this already. This functionality, what this comes down to is that agents are going to have a new and improved uh, experience when it comes to dealing with attachments with emails inside of Dynamics 365 customer service. So what they'll be able to do is, first of all, the way that these attachments are, are visible on the form looks a lot cleaner, it's a lot better, but also when we're working with these attachments, we can do uh, a bunch of other things as well. So for example, now we can drag and drop attachments, even multiple attachments as well. Right, so if you have attachments in a folder, right, you can just go ahead and drag and drop them. You can also copy uh, attachments. So if you have an email inside of Dynamics, you want to copy that over, or you want to right attach those files from a previous email, you can do that as well. So pretty cool stuff there. Now the next one is the it's very similar actually, but it, this has to do with your recipient. So we're talking about the two, the CC and the BCC fields inside of an email, right? Inside of Dynamics 365 for customer service. So what we're gonna be able to do is, first of all, also doing that drag, drag and drop. So if you have a recipient that is sitting in that two email and you want it to go into the CC, you can just drag and drop that over. The other thing that you'll notice is that you're gonna be able to see if you're sending an email to an internal person, right? Somebody that belongs to your organization, you're gonna be able to also see the present status directly inside of that email, and you're gonna be able to see any out of office messages that are in there uh, as well. And then lastly, when you're sending an email, if you just enter the email address in any of those fields to CC, BCC, right? If that record is in your system with that email address, it will automatically populate that record inside of that email. So I kind of feel it's very nice to see that all of those products in the Microsoft stacks are, are stack are getting more and more integrated with each other, right? So I think it's a great thing. Now, this one you probably heard about and you probably are wondering, okay, well, which copilot are we talking about today? Because there's so many copilots, right? Now, this is the copilot that actually lives inside of Dynamics 365 customer service. So I've already done a couple of videos on this, one to just regular prompts and the other one uh, with some custom table, also a prompt plugin. So the way that this works is that you can connect to other systems by using uh, these prompt plugins and connectors as well. Then what you can do once you create those, you can go in and almost like activate them or turn them on inside of the customer service admin center. And then they're gonna be available for your agents to ask questions, right, in Copilot. So definitely a pretty nice feature. Like I said, this was already uh, out for quite some time. It was in public preview, but I do want to mention that this is not going to be available in all regions. So definitely check out this one, this one, check out that list that shows you all the regions, right? To make sure that you're going to have availability to this as well. So this next feature kind of stacks on top of that, right? Again, Copilot, we're talking about Copilot inside of Dynamics 365 customer service. This one was actually also in wave one. It was called Get Automatic Prompts from Copilot. And what that means is that Copilot is automatically going to show a prompt, right? And if you're not sure what a prompt is, it's kind of like a suggested question, right? So that could be, 
for example, if you're working on a case that has to do with like returning a product, Copilot might mention like, hey, what do I do to return a product? So those are kind of things that the agent might not even know that they can ask Copilot about that, but by utilizing these automatic prompts, right, it makes it a lot easier for them to uh, immediately ask those questions. And again, this is also going to be released in certain regions, right? So again, kind of make sure that you take a look to make sure that your region is on here and so that you can kind of take a look at this as well. And then lastly, another one that you probably already seen in the previous release notes, right? This is going to um, actually allow us, or this is not even allowing us, this is just going to work, right? As soon as you change the queue membership of an agent. So you have an agent that you are now maybe switching from one queue to another, or you're just adding the agent to another queue. Those updates are going to be pushed out immediately. If you're not aware uh, why this is an important feature, previously, when we did anything in uh, Dynamics 365 customer service in the admin center, it takes 50 minutes for that update to actually push through, right? For that actually happens. Now this feature allows us to, like I said, when we're changing the queue membership of an agent, that's gonna be immediate, right? So as soon as you do that, boom, that's done. I'm just hoping that this is gonna be something that Microsoft is gonna be able to do for everything that we do in a customer service admin center, but we'll have to see and we'll have to wait. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also put in the comments, which of those features are your favorites? I really would like to know uh, more about that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Have a great week, everybody.